Welcome to Eastern Paradigm. I am Xavier Basumatri and in this report, I will be talking about the most important news. The Israeli rescue service Zaka confirmed that they had recovered 260 deceased individuals from a music festival that had thousands of attendees. Tragically, this event was later targeted by Hamas militants. The final death toll is expected to rise as additional paramedic teams continue their efforts in the area. Videos circulated on social media and through Israeli news outlets depict a harrowing scene when numerous festival goers can be seen sprinting across an open field while gunfire erupted. Regrettably, many of them lost their lives while attempting to escape, while others sought refuge in the nearby freed orchards. The United States has announced its intention to deploy multiple military ships and aircraft in closer proximity to Israel as demonstration of support following the unexpected attack by the Palestinian armed group Hamas on Saturday. U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin stated that the United States would also enhance its military aid to Israel and supply ammunition to the country in response to the situation. Let's move on to the next news. Sikkim Flash Flood Rescuers face problem as continuous rain obstructs rescue operation. Over 1,655 houses and 14 bridges damaged. Around 60,000 people affected due to the flood. Moving on to the next news. The National Conference and Congress Alliance won 22 seats out of 26 seats in the Ladakh Autonomous Hill Development Council elections 2023 held recently. Regional News Former MLA of 58 Tamulpur constituency Emmanuel Moshahari resigns from the Bharatiya Janta Party Assam. In a spectacular showdown at the Sai Stadium in Kokrajar, Assam, left a resounding mark by classing Bihar with a commanding five-goal victory in the prestigious Santosh Trophy. 2% reservation for former NDAB, National Democratic Front of Borderland cadres in Assam Police recruitment. This move aims to provide employment opportunities and a path to the rehabilitation for individuals who were formerly associated with the NDFB. It represents a step towards the reintegration and inclusion of ex cadres into mainstream society. This were the important news for today. We will be back with more such news in our next video. Till then, stay tuned with Eastern Paradigm. Thank you.